Hi Mama, it's Johanna from Simply Mommy Johanna doing a guest video for the 411 Mamas today. And um, I'm actually going to be doing the tag that um, Nicole from Mommy Tips by Cole tagged me in. And it is called Most Worn Things um, Summer Edition 2012 tag. So here goes. Um, number one is Most Worn Nail Polish. Um, I haven't worn too much nail polish, or actually any, um, for the past month, other than clear, because I've been trying to let my nails grow out again. But at the beginning of the summer, I had gotten a set um, of e.l.f. nail polishes, and I wore those a lot. Um, I would have to say, I'm going to have to shake it well to see it, but I would say this orangey color is the one that I wore um, the absolute most. I really, really love this color, which I was surprised um, that I did like it as much as I did. And then I also like this pink one by e.l.f. Um, they're just very summery, very kind of happy colors, I think. I don't know. But those are my two favorites for the nail polish. Next is Most Worn Hair Product. Um, my favorite technically isn't a hair product, although I do use it on my hair and I absolutely love it, and it is coconut oil. Um, and I apologize for my, <laughs> my setup here in filming. Um, my camera ran out of uh, battery, so it's actually being charged as I film. So I'm sitting by the dog food <laughs> on the floor. Um, but anyway, so... This coconut oil has been wonderful for my hair. I think it has helped with um, my hair loss. It's not as bad as it was at the beginning, um, really, really beginning of the summer. Um, it leaves my hair very moisturized. I actually do leave this in like after I take a shower. Um, you do have to be careful though. You don't really want to put it on your roots because it will make your hair look greasy. So I really just try to use it um, on the bottom portion. But as a mask, it is wonderful um, for giving you a uh, nice moisture to your hair. The two other ones that I've been using since I got them, um, which I've used quite a bit over the past month, are my two from Amir um, that I got from Hot Look, and I mentioned these in my Hot Look haul. Um, I really like these. I love the smell. By themselves, my, my hair is very rebellious. It kind of wants to do what it wants to do when it wants to do it. And I can't use these by themselves, but I am really liking um, to put these, I'll put this one on first, then this one, so the cream and then the oil, and then I'll use like another product, like a little bit of this, on my ends um, to give it moisture and to actually hold my curl. These on their own do not hold the curl. I need something a little bit heavier. So the coconut oil or another um, styling cream that I've been just trying to use up a little bit um, is usually what I will wear as far um, as hair. Mo most worn bag. At the beginning of the summer, I was just using my big black tote. Um, I've had this for years. I, I don't know. I've had it for years and I just, I absolutely love it. But I found that with my son, um, being older and moving around a lot, it would, it was just difficult to carry with him wiggling and jiggling when I'm trying to get him in and out of the, of the house or store. Um, so I decided I wanted a crossbody. So I went to Target and I got this. And I like it because I can adjust it if I want it shorter, um, to just, you know, use on my arm. I can, but I have been using it as a crossbody. It just makes it a lot easier. And because it is smaller, um, I tend to keep a little bit less garbage in there. Um, the black one, like I said, I love, but it's so easy for me to just pile receipts and napkins or whatever. So this, I feel, still gives me, you know, a nice amount of space, but um, not so much that I'll just have a bunch of garbage in it that I'll have to clean out later. Next question is most worn shoes. My most worn shoes definitely have to be these um, sandals from Target, which I absolutely loved. I got them in blue and I got them in this, um, I 
like a silvery type of color and I use these like crazy. Um, it was pretty much with every outfit I wore those. Most were an accessory. Um, my son loves to <laughs> pull on things so I haven't worn earrings. Um, I've tried bracelets but again he's pulling on them. Um, I do wear rings sometimes but not that often anymore. So I haven't worn anything as far as accessories, jewelry goes um, until uh, like towards the end of the summer um, in July I got this from Anthony for our anniversary. So this is my most worn because I haven't taken it off since um, since he gave it to me um, a couple months ago or a month and a half ago. So that's my most worn accessory. Most worn clothing items. Um, clothing items are jeans or yoga pants with tank tops. Um, I got this one at Target, I want to say. Um, so I like wearing things like this because I could just put like a little... Um, a little um, sweater over it, um, cardigan, that's the word I was looking for, or just a tank top that I could like layer with another shirt. I am um, nursing my son, so when I'm trying to breastfeed, it's just easier to have the two light shirts and just be able to adjust. Um, it makes it easier for me, so that's been my go-to um, clothing item. Most more foundation, I don't wear actual foundation foundation, a true one. Um, I don't own any, but I have been using this Sonia Kashuk um, Tinted Moisturizer. I like it because it goes on nice. It still gives me coverage, but I don't feel heavy or cakey. I like that it has an SPF um, of 15. Um, I always put a moisturizer under this. I don't add, use this necessarily just as a moisturizer because it has the SPF. Um, this area of my skin tends to be sensitive to the SPF when I put it without like the barrier of another moisturizer on. Um, but I really like this. It's like I said, it goes on nice. I feel like it gives me some coverage. Um, so this would be my equivalent to foundation. Um, blush and or bronzer. I have a couple of those. At the beginning of the year, I was using my Philosophy bronzer um, and blush duo. This is in Hugs and Kisses. I was using this a lot and I really, really, really love it. I still do. And then I got, again, like a duo from Physician's Formula. And I love these colors. Um, as well for the bronzing, I would use it for contouring and then the little parts, the pink, because um, it's different shades, if you can see, um, of the hearts, the, the color. So it gives a nice, natural, but bright color to, to my cheek, which I really liked. And then just straight up blush. I have loved the NYX blush that I got from Hot Look. Sorry, this lighting is horrible. Um, and I can't believe I forgot to mention these in my Hot Look haul, because I did get them from Hot Look. But the two colors that I have liked the most, um, and have been using the most, are, this one is called Angel, which I honestly did not think I was going to like at all, because it kind of looks like a, um, like a very browny type of natural color. I thought it would just kind of make me look dead or dark, I don't even know. But I actually love this one. Um, it just gives like a very, it does give a very natural color. It works really well on my skin tone, which I was very surprised because um, I didn't expect it. And let me see if I can get a little swatch. I don't know if you could see that right there. See, so it's very light. And then my favorite, I love this. It's called Pinched, and let's see if that'll help you appreciate it. There you go. That's a little better. Um, I love, love, love this color. Like, you have no 
idea. The same thing. It's very light, but it's shimmery where the other one is a little matte. Um, this lighting is not helping at all. Anyway, I'll try to take a picture or something and swatch it again. But this color is just, I just love, love, love it. Um, I love how it looks on my skin tone. The next is Most Worn Lip Product. Um, again, I have two. I seem to be switching in the middle of the summer. Um, at the beginning of the summer, I was very much wanting and liking bold colors on my lips. So I wore this. I'm not even going to try to do this anymore. It's not working. Um, the Revlon Just Bitten Kissables in Smitten. I wore this a lot, a lot, a lot because it was... Um, it did make my lips look um, very bold. And then, as the summer progressed, I switched to a more natural look. And I've been using this one a lot. Same thing, Revlon, um, Just Bit and Kissable in Adore. I actually have that one on right now. Love this color. And for an even more natural look, the Honey. Um, that one you could barely see, but it just, it just gives a nice, a nice little look. And I actually have a birthmark, um, right here on my lip, which people seem, seem to think that is, um, a colter all the time. It's just like, it's red, it's not, I don't know, it's not bumpy or anything, it's flush with my skin, but it is darker, um, most days than my lip cut, my actual lip, so you can usually notice, and sometimes it's a little bit brighter than other days, I don't know why that is, but this one helps to at least reduce that kind of look a little bit, so I I love these, I, their staying power is incredible, they're nice and minty fresh, my lips feel moisturized, I have nothing bad to say about these products, I absolutely love them. Um, the next is Most Worn Mascara. Um, again, I have two just because I do use both of these lips, one on top of the other. Um, my most used have been my two new ones from The Balm. Um, this is Tall, Dark, and Handsome, which is for lengthening. And then on top of this one, I will put um, the Body Builder. Um, I'll put that on top. So these are... The combination of these two have been my favorite and most worn this summer. And then most worn eyeshadow. Um, on simple days where I really don't have time, I just want to put like a, a pretty base color. Um, I have been using my Ofra um, that I got in, I can't, I don't remember if it was the Glossy Box or Birch Box. June. Um, I'm not sure, but absolutely love, love, love this one. And then on days when I feel like doing a little bit more, I have been using my Everyday Eye Palette from e.l.f. quite a bit. And these are the colors there. Um, so I've been using these um, quite a bit. I've also been using my um, Meat Map from the Balm and Nude Tude, but I would definitely say I've worn these more, um, more than those. So that's it. That is the um, tag for this month. I hope you all enjoy it. Give it a big thumbs up and please go and check out my videos on my main channel. I'll put the link below, Simply Mommy Johanna. I will talk to you guys soon. Bye. I hope you're enjoying your Labor Day.